and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a cylinder. Let us create an ellipse first. I click on the X to get rid of the fill and I've got a black stroke. I go to object, fill and stroke and under stroke star I can adjust the width. Let me set that to one millimeter. I'll resize it anyway. Something like that should be fine. You can use specific values up here with the width and height. And as I've said, if you want to have a specific stroke, you need to adjust it now after you've resized the ellipse. I press Ctrl D and copy it. I drag it downwards and I hold Ctrl when I do. And now I can use the Bezier tool to connect them, but I have to have the snapping enabled. And I need snap smooth points also active. That way it finds the perfect position. So these nodes. I deselect it and I use the Bezier tool on the right hand side once more. Now I can select it all. Let me get two millimeters, set that to one. Now it's exactly what I want. Let me copy the bottom part. I use the Bezier tool again. I will control when I drag that and make sure it covers one half of your lips. Give that a fill and get rid of the stroke. You can use the bottom swatches for that. Select the bottom path, go to path, stroke to path, then select it all path and cut path. We need a stroke color, so I hold shift and click on the black swatches. It has to be selected for that. And you can see it's now four parts, so we can delete two. But the ellipse is cut perfectly in half and we can put that where the former ellipse was and we can delete the old one. For the top part, I'll just use the dashes drop down right here in the stroke style. So now we know it's in the background. Let us add some indicators for the size. So for height, I use the rulers, press Ctrl R when you don't see them and I drag these guides out of there. And now I can use the Bezier tool to create a line. I hold control when I drag that. Let me make that only something like this. I'll give it an arrow only on one side. Let me increase the width and we can see that. Maybe to 1.5. I guess I'll have to resize it anyway later on. It will snap to your guides when you've got the snapping enabled. And you can copy that, press control D, click on it again and then rotate it holding control. But I think the space is a little bit big, so let me resize the bottom one, I delete the top, and I once again copy the bottom one with control D, drag it upwards, click on it again, hold control and rotate it. Now I need a letter, so let me use height, so H for that. I hold control when I size it up. And it's bold, I don't want that. I go back to the type tool and I use the normal style. You can use specific sizes here or a specific font as well. Select the three elements, go to object, align and distribute. We need the vertical alignment and the vertical distribution. So now it's in center and in line. I select it all, press Ctrl D. I rotate the copy, holding Ctrl and I put it to the bottom. Let me change the letter H to a W for width. So I'll press T for the type tool, then A to select it all, and I type it in. I click on it again and I rotate it. You can see because I've resized it, the width is a little bit different now. Maybe it's a good idea to align that as well at the bottom, or at least distribute it as well. So select it all. Once again, object align and distribute. Last selected in the drop down is active, and this time I use the horizontal distribution. And horizontal alignment is already in place. I can go to document properties, guides, and delete all the guides. And I select it on press Ctrl G to group it. And this is how you can create such a simple cylinder in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.